Alright, welcome. This is the Math 8, Chapter 5, Review Packet Solutions. This is um, Part 3 of 3. We're going to cover questions 9, 10, and 11. The last parts, okay? We have question 9 here, which is a multiple choice question. This said, which is true about this system here? You could use the math, right? Does it have two solutions? Does it have one solution? Does it have infinitely many solutions? Or it has no solutions? Just to let you know, you could already take out one of the options, and it is this one, right? It, exact, it has exactly two solutions. No, 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 okay? I can explain why in later chapters when we do uh, polynomials, right, where we have nonlinear terms, Okay, we can talk about that, but the fact that this is linear, it either has one solution, no solution, or infinitely many. Okay, you can never have two, so take out A, because this is linear. All right, let's look at number nine. So, let's look for the opposites. Again, <coughs> there is something you guys are going to do, and you're going to actually already see it. Okay, let's look for the opposites. Okay, there's no opposite, so I'm going to multiply by something. This is a 1 in front of the y. This is a 2. Those aren't opposites. This is a negative 1. This is a negative 2. Those aren't opposites. So I'm going to multiply by something. I'm going to multiply the top one by 2. I get negative 2 times y is negative 2y. Negative 2 times x is positive 2x. Negative 2y is <coughs> equal to negative 4. <coughs> did I multiply by negative 2? Yeah, I did. Okay. Now I look for the opposites. Those are opposites. This is also opposite, and this is also opposite. It's okay. Combine the two equations. Becomes zero zero. Why? Notice, right? You can actually make this equation from the first equation by multiplying by what value? Two. All right. That's the shortcut. Remember. All right. So again, let's. Just go back to step two. Combine the two equations, right? This becomes zero. This becomes zero. Negative four plus four is zero. So I would say the equation of zero, zero is always true. Hence, the system has infinitely many solutions. If you graphed it, they are right on top of each other. Number 10, a system of two linear equations has no solution. The first equation is negative two X plus 4y equals to 1. What could the second equation be that would make the system have no solution? Remember, what was my shortcut? Let's look at number 9. Right? Ask yourself, can you, from the first equation, can you make the second equation? Yes, if I multiply the top equation by 2, I can make the second equation. Right? I have the first equation here. Okay? Right? <clears throat> look. Right? I have the first equation here. Can I make this equation here? Okay? If I multiply this by 2, can I make this equation? Okay? If I multiply um, something, can I make this equation? Okay? Doesn't look like I could make B. It cannot look like I could make C. There would be no sense, right? I can't turn a 4 into a 2. I, how can I make a 3 and a 6? Two can't make a three. That's impossible. It looks like it would be a, right? Two can make four. Four can make eight. One can make two. By the number of two, let's see if we're right. If it feels like a is correct, okay? We'll see. All right. Let's just do this the old way. Let's just look for the same slope, right? Parallel lines. All right. Here's my original equation. Okay. I'm gonna add two x to both sides because I need the x to the other side. Then divide by four. The slope here, it's 2 over 4, reduce, gets me 1 half. So, I'm going to look for the slope of 2 over 4 or 1 half. Why? Because no solution have parallel lines. So, let's look at the first equation. 4x minus 8y equals to 2. So, I'm going to subtract the 4x to both sides because I'm trying to get the x on one side because it has to be in the form y equals mx plus b. Divide by negative 8 to both sides. I can now simplify. Negative 4 divided by negative 8 is 1 half. 2 divided by negative 8 gets me negative 1 4. I only care about the slope, which is in green here. The slope is 1 half. Is that one, the slope that I'm looking for? Yes, 1 half. So A is the solution because it has the same slope as the first one of 
2 over 4 or 1 half. Let's see if that was true. Okay, let's see if we could apply a shortcut. Yes, if we multiply this equation by negative 2, I could make this. Negative 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Negative 2, right? And negative, and right, I multiply by negative 2. Yeah, it should be negative 2 here. Good? So, again, perfect. Last one, 11. So you you paint you plant a spruce tree that grows four inch per year and a hemlock tree that grows six inch per year. The initial heights are shown. Okay, that initial means it's starting height. So the spruce tree starts at 14 inches and the hemlock tree starts at eight inches. All right, here's my chart, right? Because <coughs> the question here is going to ask us for enter the number of years where the height of both trees would be the same both trees are the same right break even right two equations are the same right at that point okay so you're looking for the break even all right you can set up an equation here if you want if you like the equation here i'm going to show you using the chart okay the break even part all right spruce tree at the zero year what did it do right what's its initial value zero years starting value 14 why? Zero years, 14 inches. Zero years, 14 inches. Good? How do I get the first equation? One year, it grows, what? Four inches. So 14 plus 4 gets me 18. Good? Rewind the video if it did not make sense to you. I'm just going to repeat because I know you're not going to review the video. At the zero year, the starting year, before anything happens, the initial height is 14. It's not 1 equals to 14. It is 0 years gets you the 14. It's the 0 year, the 0 time, right? The 0 day, the 0 second, right? The 0, the initial value is 0, right? The y-intercept, 0, initial, which is 14. So you put a 14 there, okay? Then it grows by 4 inch each year so this becomes plus 4 so 14 plus 4 is 18 plus 4 gets you 22 26 30 you all know how to add by 4 by now good now let's look at the hemlock tree hemlock tree grows 6 inches per year what do I put in for the zero value here do I put in zero no 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 its initial height it's shown at the start at the zero year it is still eight inches so what do you put in here eight because it starts at eight inches okay i can repeat that again you're putting a eight because the initial height right here at the zero year is eight inches how does this grow it grows at six inches per year so eight plus six get you 14 14 plus 6 gets you 20 again becomes 26 32 38 44 50 and 56 I want you to think about this conceptually okay <coughs> will the hemlock tree ever grow taller than the spruce tree yes because why it is growing at a larger rate it's growing at six inches per year but here it's growing four inches per year okay so the six inches in height for the tree is going to surpass okay now the question enter the number of years when the height of both trees will be the same right these are the heights let's see where the same i see 26 here inches height 26 here inches height what year is that the third year so the third year they have the same height what is the height of both trees when they have the same height they have the height in the third year they have the height 26 if you put this in order pair format it would just be 3 comma 26 it would be where the break even is for these two trees good so there you go that is the third part of the review sheet solution okay if you have any questions please come see me for help. Those are all your solutions. Good luck.